वी ऑल नो दैट द टाइम मूव्स इन अ फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन दिस इज सो ऑब्वियस टू हेयर बट वॉट इज द साइंटिफिक लॉजिक बिहाइंड इट वाई टाइम कैन नॉट गो इन द बैकवर्ड डायरेक्शन लेट सी इन दिस वीडियो सो हेलो गाइज दिस इज शुभम एंड वेलकम टू इजी फिजिक्स Time plays very important role in your daily life as well as scientific world but you are too busy in your life to do a lot of things because your time is running so fast but why it is so why time cannot go in the backward direction to understand this first understand what is time do you already know okay give yourself a try for a moment just forget about the terms like watches days and night now Just pause the video and describe it to yourself. What is time? Have you? How strange it is. We focus so much on the time in our daily life, but if all watches are disappeared, then it become very difficult to describe the time. These are not only my words. All physicists agree that time is one of the most difficult property of our universe to understand. Let's try to figure out. Time is the relative movement of the objects. Everything in the universe is in the motion with respect to any other object. No matter it is an electron or a black hole. Now, before moving forward, start thinking like a researcher and you will feel like that you discovered the time. Different objects move differently with respect to a particular object. Earth revolves the sun. and after one revolution it comes back to its initial point in earth's frame sun revolves the earth in same way and during this revolution moon also revolves the earth but in different way during one revolution of sun moon completes its 12 to 13 revolutions now make a link between them give a name to the duration of one revolution of sun say one year now divide it in 12 parts to give the name to approximate duration of one revolution of the moon and that is month now again divide the month in 30 parts to define the duration of day and night in the same way day and night divided into hours hours divided into minutes minutes divided into seconds and so on now you can understand that time is the measurement of duration of the movement of different objects but What we discussed is the time scale of earth. Time is different at different places because the relative movement of the objects is limited by the speed of light. Therefore, object shows different movements in different frames. And that's why time is not absolute. But this is a different topic. Let's come to the point. If we look in the beginning of universe, then according to Big Bang, universe started from a singularity or it can be said most ordered state after explosion universe started to expand and particles started to move in all directions therefore particles started disordering themselves and they started to go from ordered state to disordered state therefore because of the movement particle always go from less disordered state to higher disordered state scientists gave the name to this concept as entropy less disordered mean low entropy and higher disordered mean high entropy Let's understand with the example of your room. If your room is very clean and everything is at its own place, then the entropy of your room is low. But if your room is messy and there is high disorder in the things, then the entropy of your room is high. This is also explained by the second law of thermodynamics, according to which entropy of universe always increases and it cannot be decreased. This means the disorderliness of the objects can not be decreased. Decrement in disorderliness is like your milk is unmixing from your tea, which can only be done by reverse movement of the particles. And movement describes the time. Therefore, time cannot be flow in the backward direction, at least in this universe. Hey guys, what did you find interesting in today's video? Put your comment in comment box. And if you want to watch more videos like this then subscribe this channel and don't forget to like this video